Ladies and gentlemen, please remember not to play with knives from the original dead, Teresa Tilly! And from Ash vs. Evil Dead, the powerful vagina plays Kelly Maxwell, Dana DiLorenzo! And the even more powerful vagina, Ray Santiago! And the master of disaster, the Chainsaw Champion of Royal Oak, Michigan. Put your hands together, Bruce Campbell! Bruce, 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 Bruce. Oh. 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 Yes. Hello. 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 Thank you for coming. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have most of the Evil Dead cast that is alive and exists today. Woo! This is your opportunity. Yes. Maybe I'll start. Betsy, yeah. what would you say would be the difference between a modern horror actor and an old school horror actor? Because I think we would consider the three of us old school. I would say about 45 years. 45 years. Yeah. <laughs> Last century versus this century. Got it. Yeah. Did that answer your question? Very well. Very well. Almost dying literally to pretending to die. Yes, that's true too. She told us the story of how you, when you made the first evil dead with Sam, um, and uh, that you put an actual chainsaw with actual blades in front of her face. No, no, don't, no, don't exaggerate. It was over the, her, her, her main artery. It was right over here. my neck. As it was going. Oh, yeah, he turned it on. But as one of the producers of the movie, it would not be prudent to kill one of the lead actors. <laughs> it you would cause hoping. extensive production delays, and that would not be good. That's true. So I guess I should thank you. Now, Ray and Dana, I would say you would you were both beat up <laughs> bad three seasons. Did you at least appreciate the stunt team that you worked with? There was no stunt team on the the first <laughs> yeah, season of that. Yeah, they were the team. You like the stunt <laughs> team. Oh no, we uh we love our stunt team. They they taught us how to take lots of falls and they took a lot of falls. And beatings for us. Did you have a, the same guy for three years? I did have the same guy for three years, this little Brazilian uh, jiu-jitsu master, and uh, he was like my sensei on set. He, <laughs> anytime I didn't want to do something, he just said, you can do it, Ray, you can do it. So um, he really got me through through a lot, and, uh, and, and, and you know, yeah, we, 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 couldn't, uh, we couldn't lose these fresh faces. So they, they, they took the falls for us. Sorry, I'm delirious right now. You, did you have the same double? I did. Uh, Crystal Pratt, uh, she's Canadian. She, from episode one, season one, has, and has taken all of the falls and hard knocks. And if you guys remember, if you think back, Pablo's been tortured, Ray's been tortured a lot. But so has Kelly. And if you think, that girl, uh, Crystal Pratt, if you're listening, I don't know how, <laughs> but she got her back like almost broken so many times, like getting thrown out the cabin and uh, thrown against the wall and um, she tore her ACL, uh, which is why I got to hang from the tree by my ankle. That's actually me in that scene. Um, but she took the hardest knocks and I'll tell you what, Ray and I have a, really a, found a new uh, appreciation for how, how much pain those stunties go through. Um, and case in point, when Bray and I were shooting that uh, truck scene in, in, at, the, at the militia in uh, the first season, I had just broken a rib. And that's when I had to be tied up where he had to drive crazy. And I couldn't even breathe. You remember, I was like, <laughs> I couldn't breathe. And our stunt coordinator, Stu, I said, I can't do this scene. I can't even raise my hand up to tie up in the truck. And he goes, you might be in pain today, 
but the camera is forever. And I was like, that is a stunty. That is a true stunty. So, yes. Hey, and you have a great Rachel story. My stunt hey, guy, Bruce. Rachel Vizilev from uh, Sofia, Bulgaria. Had him for three seasons. Hey, Bruce, I yes. just have a question. Yes. And who is your stunt double? I was going to uh, ask double. a question. As the producer of yeah. the original Evil yeah. Dead, yeah. I'm sorry, I've forgotten the name of our stunt. I remember oh, it's yeah. Teresa Tilly, <laughs> Betsy Baker, <laughs> Alan Samwise. I yeah. mean, I wish somebody had taught me how to fall or to <laughs> jump on Hal. <laughs> Poke out his eyeballs. You know what they say, baby. You, you learn while you earn. We learn while they didn't earn. But we didn't earn. <laughs> we just only earned. Earn. Oh, that's right. That's right. They didn't. We're waiting uh, to earn. The stunt coordinator was his name was Joe Nobody. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's available. <laughs> Um, Rachel, do you have anything else to say about your stunt? Uh, On right show, we would just hear loud, loud crashes in corners of the set, and I would see my stunt guy limping across, and I'd go, "Right show, how's it going?" He'd go, "Fuck the shit, boss." <laughs> but he always ended it with boss. He did. He ended it with great respect, and I hope he's healing. <laughs> I really do. Yeah. Stunt guys, it's not, it's a, not a job you can do for a long. Period of time. Well, even Lee Majors, the great Lee Majors, who plays Brock Williams, uh, yeah. your father. Um, yes. Whoa, whoa. Um, didn't you say that uh, when he did Six Million Dollar Man, his knee? That's why his knees are bad because he did his own stunts on that show, right? Well, Lee Majors did a lot of his own stunts because he could actually do them better than his own stunt guy. <laughs> so Lee would just go, "Hey, man, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll just go jump off that horse." Please. Well, it's hard to run in Belmont. Uh, Betsy, I believe you also had one of the first. Uh, uses of early prosthetics uh, and in order to get that you you put plaster we put plaster on your face uh, well, we directly did. directly on her face we but plastered over my face and when you have to make a mold you have to put plaster over your face and you can't breathe and so oftentimes a makeup person will put two straws you know so you can breathe and then when it gets really really when the plaster gets hot and hard you hit the makeup person because you can't talk which means take it off now. No, you had a piece of paper. We were smart okay, enough as, as writing. no, as high quality producers, we gave you a pad and a pen, and you wrote at one point, yeah, yeah, don't be laughing, Dallas. She's gonna kick your ass. She she wrote, getting very lightheaded. <laughs> <laughs> So they thought that I was going to pass out, so they took off the plaster, but when they took it off, they also took off all my eyelashes. It was stuck in the plaster. Yeah. Oh my God. But it yeah. was a beautiful collection That's right. of eyelashes. That's eyelashes. right, boss. That's beautiful. right. Beautiful. Thanks for giving, giving of yourself as a guinea pig. Plus, the heat was plaster of Paris is what we use, and it heats up when it sets. Now they use bandages, lightweight. Now it's a 15 minute procedure. It's easy. Now it's easy, Betsy. Now, now it's, easy. it's easy. But Betsy was smart enough after that little incident to talk to Sam, have a little sit down with him after she saw what we all went through with the masks and wearing them and how every day they wore a different mask. It would be glued on in a different place. We didn't know how we were going to wear it. And then the eyelashes, she had a little talk with Sam about a different kind of idea for her character. Yeah, I couldn't stand the rubber on my face and everything, and I hated it. So I had, Sam, let's have a little talk. Okay, Betsy, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> so I said, I don't want to wear that mask anymore. Well, we got to have you a little different. What are you thinking? So we ended up. That was where we got the idea of the baby doll with the cheeks, see which I still have, and the long eyelashes. And then he said, is there anything else you could do? I said, well, I could laugh like a little girl. <laughs> yeah, we, we got it. Thank and you. he said... <laughs> Never ends. And Sam said, yeah, Betsy, that's the ticket. But now, you both play characters that became possessed. 
you've been possessed, you've been possessed. So Ray, when you, when it was time to get possessed, you're not the sidekick, you're not the brujo, what are you, where are you going to play, to be possessed? Where am I going to be possessed? You're playing a possessed demon. You were good. You were really good. Yeah. Uh, I think I went to horror films and I just picked my favorite uh, horror film uh, uh, monsters and, 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 and creatures like Freddy. And uh, I mean, my, my dead eye, spoiler alert, uh, my uh, dead eye was definitely inspired by Freddy Krueger and. Uh, it, it, it looks like um, do, uh, Dr. Seuss. It looks like uh, the Grinch. Looks like the Grinch. <laughs> looks like the Grinch. So there's a little Jim Carrey there. And there was a little bit of Michael Jackson thriller that we didn't really get to see in the episode because they ultimately cut it out. But I like to uh, work from the outside in and, and pull, pull from references that I like to pay homage to. So that was that. But yeah, when I um, had my birthing scene out of my mouth, um, which you don't you don't do every day. Uh, uh, I just imagined what it would be like for a baby to come out of a small hole. And that's why you're my powerful vagina. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> By the way, I hate being called a powerful vagina. I never fucking thought that that thing would stick. <laughs> It's so, a compliment. It's life affirming, and, and that's the whole point, dude. I know, but would you like me to call you a dick? Yeah, if it was a powerful dick, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, good. <laughs> we can also hear from you. If you have a question, we can go. Yes, right there. Wait, is there a mic? There, oh, you're on it. Thanks. Awesome. <laughs> I didn't need my ears anyway. It's I not your fault. It's not your fault. I mentioned Freddy Krueger, you know the sound. Um, question goes to Bruce. Um, as you might know, um, the original Evil Dead was banned in our country for 32 years. Yes, Evil Dead was banned. Yes, and um, years. as yeah. uh, 50 months ago, I was presenting the film for the very first time since 1984 in a cinema. And there were um, 320 people from all over the country coming to our city, um, joining, <laughs> joining Evil Dead. And the um, question is, normally their people are cheering and clapping, and laughing and so on, but that was absolute silence, the whole 82 minutes. What do you think makes the Evil Dead, the original one, so special and so timeless for all these years since today? Thank you. Ah, uh, I'm glad you could finally see it. <laughs> yeah, you know, <clears throat> 32 years, sure, sure. Uh, although I know you've illegally downloaded it, but that's fine. Um, anything we do, we want people to remember in the arts. We want to be, uh, you want to be timeless, you want to be remembered. And unfortunately, because you are remembered, sometimes you are remembered in a certain way, or a certain way, or a certain way, or a certain way for me too. For many people out here, I will always be Ash. And I will only be Ash. And I accept that. So this is what an actor accepts along with saying, oh my, thank you for supporting this character, which has helped you both, of, you've all four of you created indelible characters. You chewed off your own hand. You know, that's a... I call it a hand sandwich. Nice. That's a, <laughs> so we must take that responsibility with it. So, yeah. Welcome to Evil Dead. Welcome to Tom Stortufel. <laughs> Yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Bruce, I love your movies, but I even, enjoyed your, um, I even enjoyed your books even more. So I was wondering, when do we get the Ch If Shins Could Kill Reloaded Chapter 2 whatsoever? Because there's so much stuff happening in your life already. When are you going to write a new book? Thanks. Uh, well, we, I did the first if, Confessions of a Bee movie actor, and I've done the further Confessions. Uh, 15 years from now, I'll do the final confessions. And then that's it. You'll never see me again. I'll be fishing. Yes. Oh, uh, hello. 
Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, so I'm a biggest, big, big fan, uh, obviously. But I'm uh, also a collector of Evil Dead uh, merchandise, and I have something strange what I found. Uh, it's actually a movie poster from Ghana, from 90s. Uh, can I show it for you? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I've seen it. Yeah, well, whatever. Bring it up. Well, it's the many faces of Evil Dead. Yeah, there you go. Here. Come, on, come on up here so we can see it to a different Here, turn around. Wow. That's it. All right. <laughs> wow. Ghana. There you go. It's walking around, Vanna. Nice. Now on Ladies sale. And Ladies and gentlemen. 2985, the booth number 35. Oh, I have a little. Now, Jack Cash. Start your engines. In the parking lot. Christy Yamaguchi is now. in the building. I have a little story to tell about posters from Ghana. If you turn it around carefully, Dana, you'll see that these are actually potato and rice sacks. And literally, this is what, there was a huge display of these in Los Angeles last year, and my husband and I went, and this is actually all they have to paint their uh, posters 20 and 30 years ago. So on the back of every poster of Evil Dead from Ghana or Africa, you will see the imprint of a potato sack. Ta-da! <laughs> Fascinating. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, right up front here. So, I have a question for Dana. Yes. Yesterday, when I walked by, I heard you singing, but sadly it was just the end. So, I wanted to ask if you could do this again for us. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! It was Amy Winehouse. Someone asked me to sing Amy Winehouse. That's right. We're, okay, I'll make my uh, um, Ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'll say. Dana I'll just, dealer and all. All right. Uh, they tried to make me go to rehab. I say it no, no, no. There we go. Yes, I've been black. No way I come back. Oh, no, no, no. I ain't got the time. And if my daddy thinks I'm fine. Just try to make me go to rehab. I sing it. No, no. Okay. I have a song I'd like to sing. <laughs> no, it's it's from a play called The Fantastics. Oh yes. Beautiful song called Try to Remember. <clears throat> Try to remember. <laughs> Try to remember. Bruce Campbell, everybody. Bruce Campbell. <laughs> I, I believe uh, uh, Betsy is quite adept at singing li limericks. Cool, sing a limerick. I know when not to sing, okay? <laughs> Oh, yes, yes. Come on, Betsy. Oh, yes, yes, Betsy. Betsy, 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 Betsy. I'm wild again, beguiled again. I wish these hot flashes were mild again. Bewitched, bloated, and Are you? <laughs> Fun fact, Ray and I have been begging Rob Tappert, as we talked about the other yesterday, for a musical episode of Ash vs. Evil Dead because um, we all, we all could sing. Well, first of all, that was amazing and it seems like everyone could sing. Um, that, that, like, everyone in Evil Dead can at least carry a tune and that was amazing. But, fun fact, Ray and I never got to do that. However, if you're caught up on season three, I was watching for the first time, as along with you guys, and I think, that, that sounds like Bruce singing in the crowd. No, that, wait, that 
head sounds like Lucy Lawless in the... Was it not confirm or deny you? Was it you and Lucy Lawless singing in the credits? She jab, bro. Yes. What episode? Episode two or three? Season three. So that's really the two of them singing. And what was it, Kids These Days? Yes, from Bye Bye Birdie, right? Guys, I think that's very cool. I think that you, you have a very good voice in real life. I would like to speak to our actors here about life beyond Evil Dead. Ray, this show can't possibly live forever, even though you may or may not want it to. Ray, what's beyond? What's beyond the horror? Well, uh, I don't know. I think it's the... Uh, I'm, I'm working on a movie uh, starting Wednesday. I'm very excited about. It's about the night that David Bowie died. And uh, there's a similarity that uh, it shares with Evil Dead. Oddly enough, there is uh, some time travel in this movie. So uh, I'll be pulling from my Evil Dead experiences for the rest of my life, I think. Jumping in and out of wormholes and time, time travel. Um, Yes, I'm very delirious and uh, I'm very tired and that Red Bull hit me when they started singing and I felt like I was going to get a heart attack because I thought I was going to have to sing. He can actually, you can sing now too, you just don't want to. I just started to shut, but I couldn't figure out what I was going to sing okay. for the crowd. Prince? Everything was beautiful at the ballet. Raise your arms and someone's always there Everything was beautiful at the ballet I was pretty at the ballet Doing it. I sent you 20 letters from Paris last week. Well, you've been gone six months, and I got the feeling that I don't remember the words to this song. That was my favorite thing to ever happen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I feel tragically that our time here has expired. Perhaps, well, well we're, we're very sad too. We're sadder than you are, believe me. But, because who would ever want Dortmund to end? But, nobody, nobody, wait, nobody wait, would wait. want Dortmund to end. We want to thank you on behalf of all the generations of Ash vs. Evil Dead. Be Betsy has one thing. Yeah, yeah me too. I, I, okay, well, yeah, you go, you okay, go. Okay, I'll go first. Okay. You go. So I Final wanna, words or so thoughts. I'm going to do it right now. So I just want to say to all of you that I learned a little German today. <gasps> Ooh. And I want to say, first of all, Wiedersehen and danke to all of our schnuckelschnickels. <laughs> and while Betsy was learning German, I was learning it as well. And I, I can count, but I'm not going to do that. I just want to say Auf Wiedersehen, Dankeschön, and Fair Abend. Okay, um, Dankeschön, um, and uh, especially to uh, my the amazing uh, Lisa over there um, who taught me this um, for all of you. Uh, Ich liebe, ich liebe dich. And, and, if there's children, cover your ears. Cover the, I've, yeah, cover their ears. <laughs> du doma sau. Thank you, Sean. Dortmund, I love you. Uh, I, I, just to piggyback on the, the, the answer to what's uh, after Evil Dead, I just uh, wanted to say that, that uh, it's a, a lifetime of meeting people who have an appreciation for uh, 
for what we created. And so we are so thankful. Coming here is different than in America. For some reason, it means a lot more that uh, what we've done has come all the way over here and that you guys care so much about it. So we are so thankful that we get to walk amongst you guys and uh, and, and see you guys and, and enjoy it. So thank you very much. It's Vanetti Kenin to Lenin. Betsy, you, Betsy, you might have needed, need help with the lyrics here. It's, join me together, all of us, singing Dunkashen. Yes! Dunkashen, darling Dunkashen, thank you for all the blood and pain. Dunkashen, goodbye, Dortmund people. from the Evil Dead, Betsy Baker, Teresa Tilly, Dana De Lorenzo, Ray Santiago, and of course, Bruce Campbell. We kind of hell says thank you very much to our guests, to our visitors, to our great crew, to everyone involved in this fantastic show, let's do it again in November. And let's have a selfie with the whole stage audience. Fantastic. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Well, that's it for the weekend. Thank you for everything you made.